At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. You'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. On Friday, November 11th, the VFW Post in Pikeville will be putting on a Veterans Day Parade. The celebration will begin at 1 in the afternoon and will feature local veterans recalling their stories during the time they served. Mountaintop News spoke with VFW State Commander Nathan Sesco to learn more. So we're doing a Veterans Day Parade. The city's actually putting it on and uh, the people at Pikeville Elementary are the one pushing it. But uh, it's going to start at 1 p.m. at the courthouse, the new courthouse. We start there, we line up, and we walk from there all the way down to the park. And the par from, the, from that point forward, they'll be... Uh, They'll be speaking at the park and all the kids line up and down the street on Main Street and then they file into the park and listen to veterans, you know, tell their story, talk about what Veterans Day means to them, things like that. Sesco says Veterans Day isn't a matter of politics, but a day to recognize our country's heroes. Without them, we wouldn't be living the peaceful lives we are today. I don't care what side of the aisle you sit on. Democrat, Republican, doesn't matter. So we just want to show every veteran thank you. And it's awesome to live in this town because they're so pro-veteran in this town. I mean, we just hosted our uh, second fall conference for the VFW, and people were coming from Paducah because it's so pro-veteran here. They love, they drive literally across the state to come here because they're so welcoming to veterans. It's awesome. We are sacrificing part of our lives so other people can drive up and down the road. You can go to Walmart, you can go shopping, you can do all that. Because if those people, if these veterans wasn't serving, somebody else, son or daughter, husband or wife would be there. They may be in Louisiana at Fort Polk or something, but they're not, they're giving up a section of their life so we can be free in this country. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.